Use the Pythagorean Theorem, Lesson 5.6. The standards are 8G7 and 8EE2. The objective is to solve problems using the Pythagorean Theorem. The essential question is how can algebraic concepts be applied to geometry? Remember the formula for the Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And it can only be used for right triangles. Now, the diameter. The diameter is the distance across a circle, and the radius is half of that distance. Example 1. Write an equation that can be used to find the length of the ladder, then solve. Round to the nearest tenth. So the first thing I'm going to do is label my picture. I know that the shortest leg is 8.75 feet, so that will be side A. The medium leg is 18 feet, that will be side B. And across from the right angle, is the hypotenuse. That's going to be side C. So now I'm going to write my formula down, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now I'm going to plug in my numbers into the formula. So a squared is 8.75 squared. b squared is going to be 18 squared. And then I'm going to bring down c squared. Now 8.75 squared is 76 Point five six two five. Eighteen squared is going to be three hundred and twenty-four, and I'm going to bring down c squared. I'm going to add seventy-six point five six two five and three hundred and twenty-four. That's going to give me four hundred point five six two five. Bring down c squared. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of c squared is just c. The square root of 400.5625 is 20. So the latter is 20 feet. Example 2. A 12-foot flagpole is placed in the center of a square area. To stabilize the pole, a wire was stretched from the top of the pole to each corner of the square. The flagpole is seven feet from each corner of the square. What is the length of each wire? Round to the nearest tenth. So first I'm gonna start off by labeling my triangle. I know that the shortest leg is seven feet, so that's gonna be side A. The medium leg is gonna be side B, and that's 12 feet. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, and that's gonna be side C, and that's the side we're looking for. So first I'm going to start off by writing my formula for the Pythagorean Theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now I'm going to plug in my numbers. So a squared is going to be 7 squared. b squared is going to be 12 squared. And I'm going to bring down c squared. So 7 squared is 49. 12 squared is 144. Then I'm going to bring down c squared. So 49 plus 144 is going to be 193. And then I'm going to bring down c squared. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of c squared is just c. The square root of 193 is going to be 13.9. That means that the wire is 13.9 feet. Example 3. The top part of a circus tent is in the shape of a cone. The tent has a radius of 50 feet. The distance from the top of the tent to the edge is 61 feet. How tall is the top part of the tent? Round to the nearest whole number. So first I'm going to start off by labeling my triangle. Across from the right angle is always the hypotenuse and that's side C. The medium leg is 50 feet, that's gonna be side B. And the shorter leg is side A, and that's a missing side. So now I'm gonna write down my formula for the Pythagorean Theorem, and that's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now I'm gonna plug my numbers in. A squared, we don't know what that is, so I'm gonna bring it down. 
B squared is 50 squared. C squared is 61 squared. I'm going to bring down A squared. 50 squared is 2,500. 61 squared is 3,721. I'm going to subtract 2,500 from both sides so we can solve for A. This will cancel out. I'm going to bring down A squared. I'm going to subtract 2,500 from 3,721, and that's going to give me 1,221. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of A squared is just A. The square root of 1,221 is approximately 34.9. So that means the tent is about 35 feet tall at the top. Example 4. The cylinder has a radius of 10 centimeters and a height of 15 centimeters. What is the length of the dotted line segment? So first I'm going to start off with the information that was given to me. They told me that the radius is 10 centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and label my diagram and I notice that there's two circles. And I remember that the radius starts at the center of a circle and goes to the edge of the circle. So that would be 10 centimeters. I also remember that the diameter is all the way across the circle. So that means this would be 20 centimeters because it's double the radius. Now they told me that the height is 15 centimeters. Now I notice I have a triangle. So that means I'm going to go ahead and draw my right angle there. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. So I can label that C. Now looking at my legs, the shorter leg is 15 centimeters. That would be side A. And 20 centimeters is a medium leg, so that would be side B. Now I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula for the Pythagorean theorem which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to plug my numbers in. So a squared would be 15 squared. b squared would be 20 squared. And then I'm going to bring down c squared. Now 15 squared would be 225. 20 squared would be 400. And then I'm going to bring down c squared. So 400 plus 225 is going to be 625. And then bring down C squared. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of C squared is just C. And the square root of 625 is 25. So that means the dotted line is 25 centimeters. Example 5. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the dotted line segment. So in order for me to find the length of the dotted line segment, I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem two times. And I'm going to show you why. So first I'm going to draw a line inside the box. I'm going to draw another line going up. This is going to be my right angle. And this now becomes a right triangle. With the information that's given, I notice that my height is 15 inches. However, I do not know the length of this side, so we'll call that x. So on the left side, I have a drawing of the bottom of my, of my box. So I'm going to go ahead and add my diagonal. I'm going to go ahead and apply all the information that was given from my box to the bottom of my box. 
So I know that my length is 16 inches and my height is 12 inches. This is a right angle. Now I'm going to label my triangle. So across from the right angle is my hypotenuse in that side C. The shorter leg is 12 inches, that is side A. The medium leg is 16 inches, so that's side B. Now I'm going to write the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. That's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A squared would be 12 squared. B squared is going to be 16 squared. And we need to find C squared. So 12 squared is 144. 16 squared is 256. I'm going to bring down C squared. I'm going to add 144 and 256. That's going to give me 400. I'm going to bring down C squared. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of C squared is going to be C. The square root of 400 is 20. So that means C is 20 inches. So now I'm going to go I'm going to write that on my box so x equals 20 inches. Now I'm going to label my box. So I notice I have that right triangle so across from the right angle is my hypotenuse and that's C. The shorter leg is 15 inches that will be side A. The medium leg is 20 inches, that's going to be side B. Now I'm going to write my formula for the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I'm going to plug my numbers in. So A squared is 15 squared. B squared is 20 squared. And I need to find C squared. So 15 squared is going to be 225. 20 squared is 400. I'm going to bring down C squared. So 225 plus 400 is going to give me 625. I'm going to bring down C squared. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of C squared is just C. The square root of 625 is 25. So that means the dotted line segment is 25 inches.